let's talk about a uh, RC filter. I'm going to make a single stage RC filter with just a resistor and a capacitor and I'm going to use it to eliminate some ripple and noise on my uh, power supply. So we need to uh, find the cutoff frequency or the half power point. So the uh, cutoff frequency is defined as the frequency where the uh, the resistance and the capacitive reactants are equal to each other. So uh, to find the uh, cutoff frequency you take uh, 2 pi times the resistance times the capacitance. Now I picked 100 ohms and uh, uh, 1,000 microfarads. So uh, if we take our 6.28 times 100 times 0 0.001, it comes out to 1.59 hertz. Now if we know the hertz that we want to use and the resistance, we can find the capacitance with this formula. The 6.28 times 100 times 1.59, that comes out to 0 0.001 farads or 1,000 uh, microfarads. And the uh, uh, capacitive reactants we can find if we know the frequency and the capacitance with this formula. So the same thing here, we just multiply these together and it comes out to, uh, to 100 ohms. This 2 pi, we use that because it's a 2 pi uh, frequency, is, it's, it's omega, it's angular velocity in radians per second. So 1 hertz is equal to uh, 6.28 radians per second. So um, that's just where this 2 pi comes from. but. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Now, this if we look at this circuit here, it's the same as a uh, um, voltage divider. So up here on our voltage divider, we have, if we had a 1K here and a 1K here, and we used it in this formula here, uh, if we put 10 volts in, we get 5 volts out. It just cuts it in half. But uh, for the output of an RC filter, it's not half because the, it's the vector sum of the R and the XC, they're 90 degrees apart, okay? So we use uh, the Pythagorean theorem here, where uh, the it's the square root of R squared plus uh, XC squared, but uh, over here, if you had, if these two sides were one, this side would be the square root of two, which is 1.414, and if you divided that back into to one like we were doing up here, it would be 0.707. To find decibels, we take log base 10 of 0.707. Now log base 10 of 0.707 is uh, minus 0.15, and we 20 times uh, minus 0.15 comes out to 3 dB. So we're 3 dB down. So the cutoff frequency is here at, at uh, 3 dB down. That's about 70% of the input. So my uh, ripple is at uh, 70 millivolts peak to peak. So at this point here, at this frequency, it would be uh, 70, uh, about 70 percent less voltage on the on the ripple there. But now the uh, the ripple is actually at uh, about uh, 300 kilohertz, so it's way down in here. So I expect it to be a lot lower than that uh, that 70 percent there. Now, so here's our filter here, and I'm going to put a, a load on there, a 10 10 ohm load. But when I do that, this for DC, uh, DC is not going to pass through here. We have another voltage divider where we have 100 ohms here and 10 ohms over here. And if we use this formula here, we're going to drop 9 volts across here and less than less than a volt here. You know, 0.9 volts will drop across this uh, resistor here. So uh, and my ripple will be down, but uh, we won't get any voltage out here. Less than a volt. So what can you do? You can take this uh, 100 ohm resistor and, and bring it down to 10 ohms, uh, but then you'd have to add another uh, zero to the uh, microfarads here. It'd be, have to be uh, uh, 10,000, uh, 10, I guess, microfarads. But at that point, you'd still have 10 and 10. You'd be, have 5 volts out, so that's no good. So you could go down to 1 ohm, but now you're going to have to increase this to 100 microfarad capacitor. It's going to be a very large capacitor. So that won't be practical to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a capacitor multiplier. We're going to take a, uh, in, in this case I'm using a uh, MOSFET, but you can use a, uh, a transistor. In fact, I'm going to think I might change this out to a Darlington transistor. But uh, what we're going to do is going to bypass this resistor here, and we're going to control it from this, uh, from this point here. Now, uh, if there, if it was a uh, transistor, it would be called an emitter, emitter follower because we're coming out of here. But uh, when you do this, this uh, 
this resistor doesn't matter anymore as far as the uh, for your output here so I can bring this up to uh, a thousand ohms if I want okay and that means I can reduce the size of the capacitor here now they call it a capacitance multiplier because um, you know you can if I by adding a bigger resistor here you, you can uh, you don't have to add the you know you don't you don't have to worry about adding a bigger uh, capacitor here it multiplies it for you but probably not a good name maybe uh, you know uh, you know a resistor bypasser or something but anyway they call it a capacitance multiplier so that's how that's it this so we're going to put this together now I, I have this unit right here I made up and uh, it has two banana jacks on it it's going to plug right into the uh, to my set here and I've got the load tied right here and then we're going to test the uh, test the ripple on it and see what uh, see what it does I'll change the uh, camera around and we'll take a look all right we're at the scope the uh, top trace the purple one is the unfiltered and the bottom trace is the uh, the filtered off my uh, power supply and uh, let's take a look at the measurements so channel one which is the yellow one the RMS is uh, 3.6 millivolts and the peak-to-peak uh, -peak is uh, 31 uh, millivolts peak-to-peak -peak. so not bad we'll take a look at the uh, top trace channel 2 whoops and channel 2 channel 2 and channel 2 is uh, RMS is uh, 15 millivolts peak to peak or 15 millivolts RMS and peak to peak is it's up to about 97 millivolts so uh, the filter seems to be working I might add another stage to the filter now uh, I am dropping across uh, a volt about a volt and a half or so maybe two volts across that uh, uh, the MOSFET so I think I'm going to take that out and put a, a Darlington uh, transistor in there that might work out better but uh, looks like it's filtering it out pretty good and uh, that's uh, RC filter thank you